Hello and welcome. So this is a follow-up to episode 190. I don't even know what I said in that episode. It was just about the subject matter. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm just going to get into it. Uh, there's a structure in this area. I, I was looking for where it was, trying to find it. It's hard to, to say. It's based out of here. Uh, a wall. I don't think it's just like this. Somewhere in here, though. Somewhere in this area, there's a wall. Unfortunately, I don't know where in the area exactly. I found this map, but it's hard to say. Main house, this is from their website. Sage Mountain Center. Sage Mountain Center. A map, so it's, it looks like the wall is up here, north of it, pretty much. Uh, I'm not sure what other things mean. Lookout. There's a lookout. So there's some northward lookout and then the wall. It's going... Let's make sure we're going north still. <laughs> north this way. Possibly as close as like here though. I don't I don't know. Is that maybe No, I don't know. Maybe that might be part of it. So that's kinda of interpreted it's around there just for a concept of where it might be. I would like to know where it actually is, but let's just generally recognize it to be around here. So I was looking at the map, and this is when something, I, I, I noticed things in the area. So just, it's right there. If we, it's important to know about all of my episodes about like, like snake eyes. Um, the ones around that one, I think it was like 230 underground science episodes, like five of them at least. One of them type eye to eye and snake eyes and some others around there are about the current flow going this way. Maybe I can just pull it up, the animation. I'm uploading my videos to Rumble. I've made it through like 12 out of like 400. <laughs> that I want to upload. Um, this happened, or when this happened, this closes, this current comes down this way and interacts with the Missoula, basically the Missoula flood, uh, glaci glaciations going on, but the Columbian River basalt's flowing out this way. Um, obviously it doesn't move in the way I cut it off, like it was much more complex than that, but the Columbian River basalt interacts with this current creates this region, goes over and around here, flows in down here to feed into Yellowstone, this current, and then this water. Okay, so we're looking at this water. No, Worth noting, it goes this way, but then it separates, goes around a nucleus, another current goes this way. Okay, so with that in mind, just to go over it again, there's a large structure here that wraps around generally like this. <clears throat> and um, up here. That then uh, has an internal nucleus here, each of which has a, like, an eye, so it's got an open mouth in this case. And then um, the back here. Going over a little nostril, an eye, a mouth as the nucleus. So it's got a little like snake head because it's a current flow. That basically this current goes around, and then this current goes in and feeds in this way. But it doesn't just do that. It also goes past it this way. And if we kind of look in the terrain. <clears throat> 
we can see this goes this way. Um, and then over here, I follow this path over this way, over this way, through here, over this way, to here. It's so generally feeding from this this segment that looks kind of like a flame shape or an arrowhead shape <clears throat> that then current generally feeds from across in a straight line and then it runs into a point where it separates around another nucleus type structure but then it comes out through here has a nucleus here, like a shell nucleus, goes out through here, possibly through here, remerges generally across here, across here, across here, across this way, down over here, where then it vibrates, like it has like a chain structure that goes out and back, kind of like the East African Rift, and then vibrates. It looks like it goes straight this way to a degree. And then maybe it like goes out into this region. So there's something going on like that in that path. So over here, we come back here. Let's, let's put in Sage Mountain again. here and if we go north to that structure that's maybe around this region somewhere like it's really in line with this current in a place where maybe my thought is what's happening is there's a compression of currents that is pushing into one another in some way, maybe by one of them flowing like a jet stream across this way, it's just holding a boundary and another one just like pushing into it and creating like an actual membrane that then uh, is, uh, okay, boom. Um, is seen as this wall that has like here in southwestern Montana is one oh coordinates thanks man nice 45.861171 negative 112.369718 not visible on the map at all here so there's a sort of some maybe a yin yang thing going on there it's also a eyeball kind of reminds me of the the deer in Asia just from a like currents inducing repetitive structure kind of standpoint but it looks like this goes around in a way possibly like divides and remerges and then goes into a center that then radiates outward to a degree holding maybe holding a boundary like creating this even Let's look here. Because someone mentioned that these types of walls are also found at Bighorn Mountains. And I'm like, that's interesting. Because of the magnetic anomaly at Bighorn Mountain. Bighorn 
it, like if this has walls, that's interesting. And then I was thinking maybe it's like in this. So this is 45. Point eight six one twelve point three seven where like a current's going this way and then there's some support structure maybe that down in the layers causes the current to actually collide and ramp in a way. I don't know. It's also like this wall is certainly like the outer boundary of the Bighorn Mountains rings. Which would make sense for there to be a, a wall at the outer boundary where there's, there's a current flowing into it that then is cu cutting through it in these interesting shapes. Where was it? Where was that video? and things. Did I... Oh, that's where it is. It's over there. Like, what in the... What have I done? Okay, but let's get back to looking at this wall. Since... Pardon me, sirs. Uh, like, it looks like a man-made wall. Like, no, it definitely does. But... My thoughts are it's not. Like, it's actually related to current flows that were just especially present there. I still don't... S let's see if we can see the wall... Not at all. It's also south. This is north. But I mean, he gave an exact GPS. GPS. <laughs> coordinate. Exact coordinates. Oh my god. Guys, don't. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> uh, so my thoughts are, though, that's like, there seems to be a shape here that's kind of like that arrowhead back there. Further back. That feeds out through this way. So maybe there was a flow going generally this way. I don't know the shape of the wall. Like, if it goes especially this way. If it's over here, like it, that's interesting. Even looking at the larger terrain, we see similar structures. That's a that's a good sign. It's naturally formed. Like it literally is the same. Blocky, trying to find some. Uh, there must be more ang like closer looks at it. He's just got so many 
Drone footy. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Like it looks like a natural or a man-made wall, but those structures are here. Straight lines, straight lines. And maybe even ending there to a degree. Like some change in the terrain. Like a boundary. Flying this way, this way, this way, this way, and through this region. Across. Across Yellowstone. Going this way. And then interacting. Like, it definitely interacts here with another current that's going, I guess, this way. We're going this way, maybe. There, there, there. This way, this way. Possibly coming out of this. Going like this way around and not just going straight out, but going around up in this way and interacting with this cross current and then going like up here around this because there's pressure there's just a lot of water over here there's so much water over here just pushing out against this wall that's why this current that just cuts through this it's just like um hat flying through no no fuck straight through at all and then it hits this boundary it's like oh i guess i'll go this way then do do even bends out here, I guess. Turns this way. Or actually, that was this one. Or does it go in? This way. That's definitely coming this way. Across here. Down here. This way. This way. Over here. Wrapping out here. It looks like it went across this response. And then turned in here. And then it maybe was forced to go down this way, or up this way, like split here. It, there was just like a pressure of this overall s system pushing along this boundary. So it couldn't just flow out that way. And it looks like it went down and around. And up and over. While this region had like pressures putting pushing into it. Uh, 
cut across this circle here, looks like. Up here, around, generally around that way. Maybe. Five funkles of an ammonite. Not a nautilus. Ammonite. Oh, there we go. Maybe. Uh, along the outer boundary, outer boundary, and just wraps in. From like a point where there's a funnel. I wonder if it like points upward a little bit in some like plane. Like, it looks like it kind of ends, goes around and comes to an end like there maybe. But then it looks like it has like an opening here maybe. So possibly a current comes into this region and then goes through here. I think that's backwards, though. But based on the ammonite, it goes through here, goes this way. I guess bends this way, this way. It's not. Whew. Also goes straight out over here. Where it looks like it has like a straight line that's going there, and then anything over here kind of fans out this way. Maybe it otherwise bends up along here and cuts across that way. Pulling a circle into forming here with a nucleus around here, and maybe another one there, maybe yin yang to that. I don't know. If it goes out this way, then interacts with this current, which is also interacting with this current going this way. Like there's definitely a current going this way that leads into this snake head up here. I mean, clearly the sage wall is a product of that process like some current flowing through all the way from up here from this main conduit that comes in here goes across this way through here and then goes across this way until it becomes basically these like main veins along this boundary and then it runs into resistance as it approaches uh, United States region, Washington, the border, and uh, splits into three segments. 
that wrap around generally, creating a, a spiral in this whole region. It looks like even a small one, a larger one, and a larger one in like a shallogram type of way. Try to find a specific variety. Um, I went past it thinking it was further. Oh, no, I have multiple. Sorry, there it is. I have so many shallograms. Pictures of. T and this one, I guess. This one doesn't do it through multiple times did the other one how it does multiple little boop 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 starting here and then getting wider there wider there around that way So maybe it's doing it again. Did it this way and then again, like around here. Like all the way out here even. Creating volcanoes here. Volcano here. Bunch of volcanoes. Um, then maybe ramping up like the this pressure over here is pushing against it generally going this way and over here like the heat is going this way so it's like moving the water away from it so maybe as this water comes to this location specifically it creates the hand of God in it so it's like a cold water hot magma interaction and in induces the hand of God this thing Like coming out from a wrist here, or even from here, and across this way, finger, finger, maybe, oops. Having these types of features going across. Where this cold though, it got pushed, the water got pushed up maybe by that. And just like divided into these linear features that kind of spread out here. Maybe formed opposite did it form that way oh my god is it backwards have I been backwards with this where right, currents coming out this way and then going that way draining maybe draining into here and creating like an inverse snake because it's like the negative to the positive simultaneously probably all forming in a way where it just forms two snakes but it like is the opposite I don't, I don't know or maybe it 
clash of a current generally this way that that's spraying into and adding definition to the face interacting there I mean this really this to me here like that suggests a current going this way so it probably is an interaction of currents that are just like this is really like the it, this current gets all the way up to here and interacts that far, but it also, this current interacts like into the head of this one, and this current interacts into the head of this one, so they kind of blend and attach, make connections through the heads to one another. So it fans out there, fans out, creating the Great Basin Hills by interacting with the current going that way. And then over here, it actually gets through, I guess, somehow. I don't know how it gets through here. <laughs> I guess it goes through here into that region and through here and over this way and out these ways and through here this way so there must be a pressure this way that kind of forces this current over here to rejoin and then maybe to go continue across that way also going across, I guess, and across, and across. Maybe. Hmm. So here's Bighorn. Here's this outer boundary of its ring. Let's go back to Gernar for a second. This one. I was just thinking, does this go to the far side or the near side? It goes to the near side. If that doesn't make sense, part of me uh, talk about it at some point in my more recent Grenar based episodes. Or maybe in the 250s, I don't know. Or even more recent, I don't know. <laughs> I'm in a daze, what can I say? So I guess current goes across this way. It's like going across this way from over here. Just across. Runs into this current going this way, I guess, here. Interacts. by going in like that in the way it came in like goes this way and in where this one maybe it feeds up this way it goes this way there there, there along next to it like one's going this way another's going this way I don't, I don't know. I don't see it over here. Oh, it's so hard to tell. This maybe goes over here. This might actually go around that way, around there. Like it's, 
If it, if it goes this way and bends, that would be pointing to a current coming this way and pushing it as it flows, rather than going like bending like this. Bending this way it would be going this way, I guess. Wait. Uh. Current comes in here, goes through, joins this maybe that cuts across there. Definitely a current there. Probably one like generally here. And maybe here also. So from this corner, I think it goes around this way. And maybe it cuts across and out like that. From here this way and feeds in over here where it interacts with another current it's coming out basically from the flathead reservation just like shooting out from the pressure out, out this way this way but into the pressures over here generally so they're hooking a bit converging at this location probably going through here and then down along the edge like outer edge participating and holding the boundary Maybe going across this whole distance and this cross current interact like I interact enough to create this region. Definitely something that gets more out this way too bends in the current. So there must be a current going this way and pushing in this way. Which is generally coming from over here. Just not going this way, but going this way. And possibly around from over here around over here somewhere, around this way, like this whole width, maybe this whole width, pretty much, wrapping in, pressuring into these currents, flowing out into it, having these little teeth things happening, indentations into it, But going this way then, this way, this way, this way, this way. And wrapping into the center. A 
Wow, the center sprays out this way through here and goes this way, but also out this way and like interacts and creates a boundary of the two inner the two currents, one going this way, one going back out in this way, which then goes along here, interacts along this path here through here to Melrose, PA, and all the things that we've been talking about recently in this region, and this region as a whole. So this goes around this way. This one goes around. There's another one spiraling here, and then another one spiraling here. I believe that's what I concluded their directions, unless I'm just trying to force it that way. Although it's possible this current like went out over here, and generally over here and over here, held this boundary and out this way. Maybe like flowed this way too. This way, current's coming across it, going this way, this way, across. Current going this way, across it. Maybe that's related to here, too. Oh, like if we follow this, it goes through there and through there pretty well, let's see. Let's just draw a line, start at the center of this there. I mean, it's not really a line, it's more of an arc. But it's still, in this instance, goes through, through there and then arcs this way, feeds this way, cross there. So maybe it's going like, uh, uh, and then, uh, Possibly across this way too. But like to here a lot and back that way, maybe. Or more pointing there, I don't know. Definitely some interaction of all of these things equals this map and more currents like every current accounted for that's really flowing on a sufficient magnitude to have materially shaped the map on this scale and to like the scale and the scale and the scale but th at some point it becomes like obviously so more subtle currents are going to be at play in like this little box here than in this region that are spawning from the overall currents. Sounds like my me. Huh? Sorry, guys. I guess I'm in this little box here. Huh? I'm the man in the box. Okay. Yellowstone, Bighorn, what can we take about this? Bighorn looks related to like this, maybe. That angle, which is where the Columbian River basalts are coming in generally over here. Like running into the most resistance bending 
and generally feeding down into this region, maybe. So many things, there's so many things. So many cool things, oh my god. So in conclusion, I would say Sage Wall is awesome and very much in need of like closer inspection and study if we're pursuing understanding of things, but also it is natural and it isn't that cool what even what nature can do hmm. Come through here I'm not even sure where I was anymore I think it was right over here it's along this path, so maybe it was here. I'd like to be able to find it just based on like the line of reasoning of the, of the, of the geology, but I'm not. Let's see. That was close enough. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. In front of the nose of the reindeer. Or deer. <laughs> reindeer. Rudolph the Red. <laughs> Other deer. Like this one. Uh, that little thing there, even. And then maybe here over there in the shadows. Hmm. Light shadows. Light shadows. Glaciers. Hot magmatic events. And water flows, but... Glaciers, although also Siberian traps. I published a video I titled um, Himalayan Supernova. Where I'm like, I was thinking, well, I think I interpreted it as kind of like a supernova. Uh, that it was like putting all this energy into the Himalayas at the time thereof. It's kind of interesting that it's got all this around it. Knowing what I know of North America and comparing this to over there. Okay, without further further ado, I'll see y'all later.